Hair loss is a depressing characteristic of chemotherapy and is especially distressing for women who require treatment. One potential means of preventing hair loss during chemotherapy treatment is to cool the scalp. This narrows the blood vessels around the hair follicles and decelerates the uptake of poison to the region. A system to do just this from Lund, Sweden has begun FDA testing for clinical use in the U.S. The DignicaP system is designed to help prevent chemo-related hair loss and consists of a touchscreen-equipped cooling and control unit that monitors scalp temperature and delivers cooling liquid beneath the inner cap. The inner cap is made up of silicone that wraps comfortably around the top of the head and contains sensors and channels where the refrigerating solution is pumped. The channel network is divided into two parts so that the front and back of the head can be cooled independently. Finally, the presence of an outer cap keeps the system insulated and collects the water that condenses on the cooling inner cap. The company behind the cap, Dignitana, has found success through international clinical trials for its device and expects to see approval for clinical use in the U.S. Currently, the FDA trial includes individuals with stage 1 or stage 2 breast cancer who are undergoing standard chemotherapy treatment. Yeah, the way chemotherapy works as opposed to, say, targeted biologic therapy like the antibody trastuzumab or Herceptin is that chemotherapy kills rapidly dividing cells and tumor cells are much more rapidly dividing than most of your normal cells. So you get, if you get a sort of standard every three or every two week dose of chemotherapy, about two weeks later a lot of your hair falls out. You know, Europe and the rest of the world have continued to use cooling caps and the one we're studying is the Digni cap. You have a little machine that circulates a coolant through a, a gel cap like a swimming cap and then you put a an insulating cap over the top of it, it means the patient is unencumbered and doesn't need to bring in somebody who can spend all that time, uh, and you don't have to take the cap on and off. Patients had very positive feedback about use of the caps, and there's been a lot of enthusiasm 